I will, uh, I will now turn over the podium to my colleague who will talk to things that are, you also, well these actually you probably will like because we're recommending more funding for students and institutions. But we'll let uh, Jacques talk about this. Jacques? Okay. One uh, first thing, I would like to add one point to what my colleague said. A year ago, I was leading an evaluation team in a polytechnic in Switzerland, the Lausanne Polytechnic. If you look at the ranking, if you look at the ranking of universities, it is something like the 28, 29th out of the best world universities. It is a polytechnic. It is a polytechnic, but as a polytechnic, a polytechnic is something that has a larger sense. And they have uh, pure physics, pure mathematic course. They are orient not for one year, a complete baccalaureate and doctorate degree. Uh, they have. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, so uh, the only thing I wanted you to s I wanted to tell you I don't want to convince you of anything I'm saying simply that this was a concept that we looked at very carefully and we thought that in New Brunswick this is something that could be very interesting for St. John and this is something that St. John could be proud of. Okay, so now we will, I will talk about uh, uh, the uh, funding of university, tuition, and student aid. In terms of fun, uh, funding, so in terms of funding, <laughs> we recommend and that the, the uh, general fund, uh, the, the funding of uh, the higher education, uh, the post-secondary education institution be raised by $50 million. We came to this conclusion by looking at uh, the uh, amount of money, the revenues of uh, universities, compare them in New Brunswick with uh, in other provinces, and uh, we recommend the, gov the government to increase the funding of uh, post-secondary education in uh, institution by $50 million. Out of this $50 million, we recommend that $20 million be given immediately, in uh, be added immediately to the general funding of uh, universities, colleges, and polytechnics, and uh, that the uh, distribution formula be revised. It's a, it's a di distribution formula that is uh, uh, dating from something like 30 years ago. So it needs to be revised and uh, more, uh, uh, the weight, more weight be given to uh, the student, uh, to the number of students uh, that are received by the university. So at actually 75% uh, of the funding is fixed and 25% is uh, student enrollment uh, driven. And uh, we uh, believe that this should be the reverse as it is in most uh, other provinces. Uh, the problem is that uh, if you keep the, fu the funding as it is, it uh, uh, eventually generates uh, uh, inequities in the system where, where some universities are not receiving enough and others are receiving too much. So this is one, one part. We uh, uh, say that 30 million should be reserved uh, for the uh, Commission on uh, Post-Secondary Education, uh, New Brunswick Commission. Uh, for a uh, uh, special project for uh, uh, development of uh, research and graduate studies, for matching uh, federal grants, uh, for uh, uh, performance-based contract with universities. And uh, this is uh, actually uh, something that is used uh, in uh, other countries and uh, in other provinces so as to increase uh, the performance of uh, the universities in certain field of particular interest to the province. Uh, uh, well, as, as one of them, I can tell you in Quebec, we have used this uh, to increase the graduation rate. 
this has, uh, uh, this has work. It had uh, as effects uh, that the university were more uh, sensitive to the uh, student need, were more supportive of student, which has increased the graduation rate by uh, a significant amount in, the, in just about five years. Uh, so this, this is one recommendation that uh, we make. Uh, we, uh, as, as far as tuition is concerned, we uh, leave it to uh, the university to, uh, uh, to uh, decide uh, what the tuition should be. But we also said that if the tuition is going to raise, that part of the raise has to be uh, dedicated to student, student aid. So if uh, the uh, university, for instance, uh, uh, raised the 40% uh, uh, or something, I, I think in Ontario it was 40% that, that had to be de dedicated to uh, student aid. The uh, last point is uh, student financial assistance. At the moment, uh, we, uh, uh, we discuss this uh, in details with the uh, student association, and we came to the following conclusion. The first thing, uh, we, we, uh, want, we recommend that the student financial assistance uh, be a three-prong uh, approach. To increase participation, uh, we uh, recommend that, the, uh, that for incoming students, uh, for, for uh, new students coming from low-income family, uh, we uh, recommend that the uh, that New Brunswick government uh, complement uh, the Canada Access Grant. Uh, the Canada Access Grant has as effect to decrease by half uh, the uh, tuition for the first year. Now, to, there is actually uh, in, uh, in ex an experimental uh, project where of uh, the Millennium Foundation, which. Uh, uh, wants to continue, which uh, the, uh, the project is uh, continuing this um, Canada Access uh, grant to further years, uh, that is the second and third year. So what we are saying to the, the but this is an experience, this is not a, a permanent. Uh, so what we are saying to the uh, uh, New Brunswick government is that they should take over and continue this in, and complement the, the Canada Access Grant so that uh, the tuition be reduced not only for the first year but uh, for subsequent years. That's the first point. The second point is we uh, recommend that the, uh, the loan uh, to students be limited to $7,000 a year. Uh, this uh, actually, uh, th this uh, means that if a student has a, let's say, 15 million, 15 million, 15,000 uh, dollar, uh, if the needs of a student is 15,000 dollar in a year, then the first 7,000 is going to be by, by a loan and the rest uh, will be a grant. So this is our recommendation. This, this is costly. It costs uh, something like 14 million dollar. Uh, it, we would very much like to go further and put it at, let's say, 6,000 or less. But the, uh, each time you decrease by 1,000, it's about, uh, it costs uh, the government something like seven, eight million dollars. So at the moment, we put it at uh, 7,000, but we said in our report that if the government can, uh, it should uh, go uh, further.